Yo chat, what's going on? It's Andy Richard here. Today we're going to be showing you how to add checkpoint systems to your game in the sandbox. So here we've got a little demo of what I've built already and I'm going to run through and show you how to build it. So the first checkpoint is triggered. We go to the tree and it kills us. We respawn. Here we can trigger the second checkpoint which will kill the first and then we will respawn at the second. There's no way to go back and trigger the ones that have already been deleted so that means that the player will always go to the latest spawn point so let's get started chat first we want to add a sign spin that around the right way obviously and if we scroll down we want to make this sign an asset spawner so here we're going to choose which asset to spawn i'm just going to use a flag stone flag and we're also going to add the tags to this so we need the tag checkpoint add-in and that is the um, default respawn tag. We're also going to add the tag pad here, which I'll show you a little bit later. Then the components we want to add to the spawned asset will be the health component, so we can kill that off when it's required. We're just going to remove the trigger and the spawn from here, and then we're going to change the message required to checkpoint one. Once we've added the checkpoint one message required in there, we can move down and we're also going to change the location of where that spawns because it's just spawning behind at the moment. So we'll move it to the front as you can see. It's minus one in my case, but it may be different in yours depending on where you place the asset. So we're going to bring the numpad out. We need two numpads in here. One as a speaker and one as a message broadcaster. So message broadcaster first, we're going to change the button and we're going to change that to the message broadcaster. We're also going to remove the indicator from there as we don't need it and the message, edit the logic chat sorry, and message to send will be damage 50. Make sure it's exactly the same. It's going to be to certain tags in the range. We'll move that down to two here. So that's only going to send messages to assets that are in that yellow circle you can see here. So you need to make sure that the sign is inside that circle and also that second numpad needs to be inside the circle. Like that. Perfect. So now we've done that, we also want to add the tags that we'll speak to. So we want it to speak to checkpoint the capital C and also pad that we added before as well. This is going to send a message to kill the assets. It will damage them with 50 damage each time. So the message required for that is going to be the next checkpoint, which will be checkpoint two. So when checkpoint two is activated, it will delete everything from checkpoint one so that there's no confusion in the system and it's not sending the players to different checkpoints. We just want one checkpoint available um, as the player is playing. So we're going to add the indicator as checkpoint one here so the player can see it. And we're also going to make this a speaker so that it can detect the player. So here checkpoint one reached as the text. So when the player comes near the numpad it's going to highlight a message saying that checkpoint one has been reached and it's going to send a message for us here at the bottom. So we need to add that message as checkpoint one. So when the player comes within the blue circle, it's going to activate the checkpoint system and start spawning the required assets from the sign. So we also want to add the health component to the speaker so that we can delete it when necessary so that it doesn't keep triggering uh, if the player runs past here. So the target tag will be avatar and the message when spoken to checkpoint one. That will send a message to the asset spawner, checkpoint one, and that's going to spawn the flagstone one. That's gonna have the tag checkpoint on it. We can delete pad, it's not necessary, just checkpoint. Here we have the message broadcaster. This message broadcast message broadcaster is going to require the message checkpoint two and then it's going to kill all of the um, 
the checkpoint and the pad assets that are inside that yellow circle you see. So we've done this first step. Now to create multiple versions of this, we just select all and we control D to duplicate. We'll drag that over to the other side and this will be our checkpoint two. So all we need to do is scroll down and where we have checkpoint one, change that to checkpoint two. Just as so, you may need to add the new message, but I already have it in here from when I set up before. So message required checkpoint two on the asset spawner. We're also gonna to move to the message broadcaster. Now this is gonna be checkpoint three because we want the message broadcaster to activate and delete the assets once we get to the next checkpoint. And the speaker is also going to be checkpoint two. I've just changed the display name here and there's also the text to display that you can change. But under the speaker, we're going to message when spoken to, change that to checkpoint two. As you can see in here, we will use checkpoint two. And that is it's as simple as that chat. Um, I'll just delete the ones that I had set up before and we'll show you how this works. So we jump into the game. I'm gonna run straight to the tree just to show you that when we die, we go back to the start. So we have no checkpoints active at the moment. We'll run to the first one. Inside that area, the stone flag, the flagstone has spawned. Now, when we die, we respawn to that flagstone. So, at the moment, we're just waiting for the text above here to disappear, and then we can activate it to send the message again. There you go. So, flagstone one, here we are. We run to the second one, we activate it, it deletes both of the first ones, and spawns the flagstone at number two. So, when we die, we're a, we are at number two spawn point. And it is as easy as that chat. You cannot go back to number one um, because we deleted the assets with the message broadcaster. It means it cannot be triggered again. So same principle again, we're just gonna select the assets, drag them over, control D, put them at your checkpoint three location. And we're gonna scroll down and change the messages, checkpoint two to checkpoint three and on the message broadcaster we need to make sure that we send that to checkpoint four because the message broadcaster is always the next checkpoint it requires the message um, from the checkpoint further down the line to be able to delete that checkpoint so here we go we place that in there and we're just going to change the speaker here from checkpoint two to checkpoint three the display name the text to display you can also change as well just in there and if we scroll down we edit the logic and where it says checkpoint two we're going to change that to checkpoint three so each time you duplicate and add a new spawn point there is only three things to change in there so we'll jump in and we'll test that out we'll go to the tree we'll go to the first one activate the spawn point there we run to the tree we die we go to spawn point one then we activate number two spawns the flag uh, stone and kills the first checkpoint there we go then with checkpoint three as well activate kills checkpoint two and if we run to the tree and just kill ourselves then there we go spawn at checkpoint three feel free if you have any questions comments drop them below um, Hope this video has helped you and I'll see you in the metaverse.